This is Dr. B. Let's divide 3 by 25. And the way I like to think about this is 3 over 25. Same thing, but this makes a little more sense to me. Because we want to know how many times 25 goes into 3. And since 3 is smaller, we know it's going to be less than 1. It's going to be a decimal. So let's do this. We take 3 and then 25. Let's see how many times 25 goes into 3. So it doesn't go into 3. 3, but what we can do, we can put a decimal point, call this 3.0, as long as we put a decimal point up here. Because now we have 30, and we could say 1 times 25, that's 25. We kind of ignore this here. Subtract, 30 minus 25 is 5. And it doesn't go into 5, but I can put another 0 out here, because it's still 3.00. That's the same as 3. And then we need to move over one place. We can bring that 0 down, 50. 2 times 25, that's 50, subtract, no remainder, we're done. So 3 divided by 25, we get 0.12. Often we put a 0 here just so it's clear it's a decimal. If you multiply 0 0.12 times 25, you will get 3. It kind of makes sense. That's it. This is Dr. B dividing 3 by 25. The answer, 0 0.12. Thanks for watching.